Hi guys and welcome back to another video talk. I'm Willy and I'm coming for you with another great unboxing video. Here we have Winnegar Syndrome's November 2023 subscriber package and let's see what's inside of this bad boy, shall we? <laughs> so now this sucker is open and we'll see what's inside of this November package. Nice! This is Rapid Crannies from Vinegar Syndrome and oh my god we have this great looking lenticular slip cover. Whoa! It's a hologram man! Whoa. Yeah, and then in the spine we have Rapid Crannies and this is Vinegar Syndrome 449. And in the backside there's another rabbit cranny with lenticular <laughs> lenticular effect this is so cool oh shit this is very cool so let's take this lenticular slip on its own and show that one more time around it absolutely nice work then rabbit crannies and this is a trauma film and i have seen this previously i have owned this uk vhs and I'm pretty sure that I have even watched this sometime, but I have absolutely no recollection was this good or bad, maybe it was good, bad, but here's the UK tape. But now let's check out the Vinegar Syndrome release. It's from 1988 and this was, uh, was this a French movie? Uh, uh, directed by Emmanuel Kervin. Uh, no, not a, not a French movie, but a Belgian movie. Newly scanned and restored in 4K from its original 35mm interpositive, so no access to negatives. Commentary with Hysteria continues. Now that's a great, uh, great group of commentaries. I have watched many films with Hysteria continues commentary. Shit happens a brand new interview with producer Johan Vedevoistjine. I probably butchered that name right on the get-go. What can I do with this? A brand new interview with editor Philippe Ravoet. Pretty violent stuff. A brand new interview with trauma president Lloyd Kaufman. Oh, oh, of course, of course. A feature length 2016 documentary of the history of Flemish horror. Oh my god. Now that's a complete film there. Rabbit Granny is the story behind the film and archival making of documentary. Hmm. This is loaded with extras. There's like three hours worth of extras, or maybe even more. So the packaging looks, well, it's okay. Okay looking package. And then uh, we have obviously the Blu-ray containing everything. And let's see the reversible sleeve. Yeah, it is similar to this cool lenticular box. Yeah, I just can't get enough of this. Oh my god, this is great. Then the second film of this box is Mother's Day from Troma and this was probably a film from year 1980 if my memory serves me correctly. I have seen this a couple of times but now I am very thrilled to see Mother's Day in motherfucking 4K Ultra HD. Holy shit, how cool is that? But first let's take a look on this lip cover. Now this is a, a new artwork but it's similar to the older one. Uh, I have the older version here. I have the 88 films uh, slasher classic collection in my shelf have been there. But uh, yeah, the picture is ki kind of same, but it is not the same picture. Oh, clearly there's this di different style of head in the basket and then there's uh, different styles of, style of weapons on these guys. So it's not exactly the same. I think this is pretty rare. Uh, released from 88 films and it's Slasher Classics number two. We have the slip cover from Vinegar Syndrome. I think the back cover looks absolutely cool. Cool. It reminds me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre a little bit. But uh, then again, the film is also a little bit like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Only but uh, much more humor in it and <laughs> much more gore in it than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So let's open the plastics. Right on. 
So it says 4K Ultra HD here, but of, of course it includes also the Blu-ray as well. So, <clears throat> and the Blu-ray is region free and this was probably also this rabbit granny. Yes, this is also region free Blu-ray. So, okay. We have Blu-ray and in Vinegar Syndrome style, all the extras are probably on, just on this Blu-ray, but I haven't watched this already, so I cannot be sure about that. But here we have another version of the of the same cover. Oh, oh no, this is the original artwork. Now this is this is similar to this a older slasher classic collection. Yeah, great stuff. Maybe I will put this older artwork this way up. 91 minute feature presentation of Mother's Day presented in HDR and newly restored from its 35 millimeter original camera negative. Now that's great stuff. With following sound options, original English mono soundtrack with commentary track uh, with director Charles Kauman and assistant art director Rex A. Piano. Also included in the Blu-ray, You're a Sick Woman, an interview with actress Nancy Hendrickson, Brother and Me, an interview with actor Michael McLeary, Writing to Mother, an interview with co-writer Warren Lee, The Book of Mother's Day, an interview with producer Michael Kravitz, The Last House in the Woods, an interview with production designer Susan Kaufman and costume designer Ellen Lutter. Eli Roth on Mother's Day. <laughs> this too has a shit ton of extras in it, so <laughs> I wonder where I will get the time to watch it all. But Mother's Day is kind of fun, kind of nasty and a pretty entertaining slasher film. Then the third film in this box is, oh shit, Mark of the Devil, a classic video nasty or I don't know if this was a video nasty, but I think this is very famous for its gruesome effects. And this was a film from 1970 something. And yeah, we have this stop box, or what do you call this? Oh, looking like a slip cover, but it is opening from this side way. And this is VS 450, and we have very shelf fitting spine here and inside there is Mark of the Devil another slip cover and it is starring Udo Gear <laughs> and then we have 4K Ultra HD presentation of this bad boy so I really like this that Vinegar sy Syndrome is really amping up the 4K 4K game and this slip cover is very very beautiful looking I mean it, this is so 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 great box art wouldn't you agree do you like this because i think this looks absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and the spine label is also here and the number is also in this inner slip cover as well and now let's open this up it's kind of like a Exploit exploitation version of Witchfinder General. It's about these witch hunters torturing young women. <laughs> the previous version I have is the Arrow video Mark of the Devil. This is actually not that bad of a release. It's got a shit ton of extras there, great artwork, uh, Blu-ray and DVD and also this great looking booklet. So Mark of the Devil comes from Vinegar Syndrome in freaking 4K Ultra HD format, but mind you that it also has a Blu-ray, but this is region A locked, this Blu-ray. 4K Ultra HD disc contains 96 minute feature presentation of Mark of the Devil presented in HDR format and nearly restored from its uh, 35 millimeter original camera negative with the following sound options. Original German language mono soundtrack with optional English subtitles, English language mono track along with commentary track with director Michael Armstrong. And also in the Blu-ray, an interview with the director, a new interview with actor Udo Kier. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to that. Worlds of Devil, a brief guide to the screenplays of Michael Armstrong with lecturer by film historian Dr. Adrian Smith. Hmm, that sounds interesting as well. A hell of a place, uh, the locations of Mark of the Devil. Mark of the Times, a documentary from 2014 of the new wave of British horror filmmakers which emerged 
in the 60s and in the 70s. Oh my god, this release is loaded with goodies. Now here we have the Ultra HD disc and then first Blu-ray containing the movie and 10 additional extras even in this later Blu-ray. So this is gonna be one of the better releases of this year from Vinegar Syndrome and that's for dang sure. Lastly but not leastly we have 4K Ultra HD release of Blood Sucking Freaks. Oh my god. I would have never expected Blood Sucking Freaks to come out on 4K Ultra HD and mind you we have this Great looking, great looking uh, slip cover over here. And what is inside? There's something, seems like something is stuck. Ah, now I think I got it. So this is how it works. So this is a magnetically reversible slip cover. Now it's the first time I have ever seen one of these. So it closes like this and opens like this. Very nice board. See the orgy of the Screaming Virgins. Incredible torture show. Yes, that was the alternate title of Bloodsucking Freaks. Now, let's take a look how many discs we have in this sucker bad boy. So, we have two disc release and the, we have the 4K Ultra HD here and this different labeled Blu-ray release. And then, nice, we have a bunch of extras. 4K mastered from 35mm internegative with English mono soundtrack and commentary by John Spunarts, the author of Bloodsucking Freeze, the life and films of incredible Joel M. Reed. Hmm. Uh, then we have archival commentary track with Eli Roth. Okay. And on the Blu-ray we have Freaks come out in the drive-in, featured about Dramaton 2020 through screening of Bloodsucking Freaks at Mahoney Drive-In Theater at Langton, PA, including an interview with Trauma President Lloyd Kaufman, a live documentary from 2009 screening with the director Joel M. Reed, Q&A with Joel M. Reed, Cinema Wasteland Hotel Room in interview with Joel M. Reed, archival introduction by Lloyd Kaufman, archival cast and crew interviews, archival interview with Eli Roth. Alternative title sequence, and that is the incredible torture. So now, okay, like I said, I have never would have expected this baby to come out, but then again, I didn't expect it put to be released in Blu-ray either. This is a UK Blu-ray Blu and to my opinion this is uh, kind of like uh, a little bit cooler cover than the Vinegar Syndrome. Let's see if we have a... Yeah, we have a reversible slip on this sucker, but neither of these match this 88 films Blu-ray cover. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> now this is... this has come to be obsolete, but this too, it's a keeper because the oh, because of the nice little book that we have here. So, oh my god, let's see how the picture quality looks on this and on Mark of the Devil and on uh, Mother's Day. Nice set. So there you have it, another great box from Vinegar Syndrome and if you ask me, I think it ranks right up there with the best months of this this year's Vinegar Syndrome release. What do you think, guys? I was uh, glad to see this many 4Ks and I was not expecting this lenticular covers. And this magnetically reversible slip cover was also very nice surprise indeed. Woo. I'm looking forward to watch this, but the difficult question now is which one of these I will watch the first. What do you think guys? Hey, thank you for watching and give me the thumbs up if you like this unboxing video and subscribe the channel if you're new here and comment if you have any questions or opinions about this month's Vinegar Syndrome releases. Hey, thank you and goodbye for now. Bye.